Hi guys, Gaming Bear here. Right, today we've got a quite a special. Well, one, I should have been on my way to um, to Birmingham for Comic Con, and I thought, well, I should be going, but there are premium tanks to review, so I'm going to do a premium tank review. But this time it's different. It's not the tanks itself, which are the star. It's the crew. Now there are a couple of options. The Type 54 doesn't have um, the 100% crew on offer. The Mutz, the Patton Career 46, and the IS-3A all have the 100% uh, option of the crew. Now, you're saying, what is that about? Well, we'll have a look at that in a minute. We'll then have a look at the uh, the tanks, and then you can decide which one you want. If you haven't got much money, then you can decide whether you want to go for the standard tanks, but the best option I know it's an additional £22 for the uh, the tank, roughly, but you get that crew, and that crew in itself is exceptional. If I didn't already have these tanks, I would be buying them purely for the crew specials. So let's have a look at those tanks and the uh, the individual deals. So the on the, the MUTs deal what you have. Let's come on. You know you want to. There we go. Okay, so you get the uh, the, the crew, 5,500 gold. The vert stabs, optics, and tank gun rammer plus the 15 mission bonus. So that's what you get with the with the with the mutts. Let's take a picky of that. Let's get back. Let's have a look at what you then get with the pattern career. So the career, you get the tank 100% crew. Tank and rammer, stabilizer, vents, and 15 of the mission specials, all for the same amount of money. Very, very nice. Another picky. Right. And the third one, we've got the uh, the IS-3A. Come on. There you go. So what you get with this one, you get the tank, 2,250 gold, vert stabs, large caliber tank and rama, and the, uh, the, the, the 15 mission bonus. So is this a good deal? Actually, we'll decide at the end. So let's get in and have a look at those tanks themselves. Quick look at the mutts. I've just come out of a game and uh, let's have a look. 99% on a uh, defeat, 700 experience, quite a bit of damage, so two, 2,200, let's have a look, damage wide, so two, two kills, 2,226 damage, 470 base on a loss. So came out third, third on damage overall. Sadly, we didn't quite uh, win. 10 shots, 10 hit, 10 pent. Very accurate. Lost a bit of credits, but um, that's that's how it goes. So 705 experience plus a premium bonus, 776. Very, very nice. So let's get back on with the uh, the, the review. So these tanks, you've got the, uh, the, the MUTs, then uh, the IS-3 and the... Where is it? The American? There we are, the, uh, the, the Patton Career. So Patton Career... This crew, I've got from uh, from other places, so this is very. I, I bought the standard tank and didn't get the uh, the hundred percent crew. It's a very good option for you to get if you can. The IS three A, I got with a. Let's have a look with just a standard. Yeah, I've I've got the normal crew on there from my IS seven, and getting the, uh, the the chance to get a 100% crew with this is brilliant. You can then move it at a tournament level. They start off with their brothers in arms and then can progress. And it's actually a faster progression, very similar to the uh, the, the girls that I've got um, in the uh, the 58 Mutz. I've worked hard to get these and to be able to buy a crew that's got the same abilities without all this work is very, very good and very, very worth it. So let's go and have a look at those uh, the, the tanks themselves and then come up with a, uh, a decision as to whether this is uh, this is worth it. So these are all of the, uh, the, the tier 8 premiums that I have. I've basically got just about every uh, tier 8 premium there is. If we're looking at all the premiums, well, you know the bear is the one who's going to do the uh, the premium review. So I, I had to stop and not go to Birmingham so I could bring you this review. So let's get on with that now so I can head off with Little Miss Bear. Okay, just a quick insert. I'm going to link the uh, the reviews I was going to put in just so we can get this up and keep it short. You can click the tabs at the end to take you to the review reviews of the individual vehicles. But basically, the conclusion will conclude about whether it's worth it 
to get the, uh, the the crew members themselves. The tanks you can click on, check out individual reviews, and follow that through. So, sorry about that, and uh, let's get on with it. So, concluding, the three vehicles between the the Mutz, the American, the M46 Korea, and the the IS-3, which one, if you can only get one, are you going to get? So. First, you decide which one is going to suit you best. All of them are very good. The one issue with the the American M46 has got one issue, which is that uh, that lack of penetration. Very good DPM, but that lack of penetration, which can let you down. The 58 Muds, very very nice. Good balance of armor, good mobility in combination, and a nice punchy gun. The IS-3A is just a a, a very good tank in its own and it does what it says on the tin. So it depends which line you're grinding. So if you're grinding the uh, the, the American medium, the German medium, or the uh, the Russian heavy, then it's an easy choice. Go for the one that suits the, uh, the, the line that you're actually going up. And then you can shift that crew to the option in, in any other tank and move them back because they're premium so it doesn't matter about them staying there so you can spend a little bit of gold to transfer them or you can move them straight in and use a bit of experience to uh, to, to buff them up in a different tank right let's look at these specials so for the 2554 you get the basic tank but for the additional 12 pounds do you want the crew? Well, I would say for £12, if you can afford it, it's worth getting it on any of these permutations. And the tank of the three that I would say is that's got more legs than the others, the IS-3, <clears throat> the, the IS-3A is the one that I would go for first above the others. It's easier to play. as a, a, For a new, new player, it's an easier tank to play because of the armour, people fear it. The others don't quite have the fear factor. And that's one significant uh, thing. People know it's an IS-3, and they know it's the IS-3A straight out of the box with slightly higher fire rate of fire. So that's the this that's the one that I would say to uh, to go for. So let's have a look at uh, the details of, of what they've individually done. So the Mutz 933, we're looking at the uh, the pattern 1268 and the IS-3A 1152. So you can see the, uh, the the difference. The best on actual damage for me is the uh, is the patterns. I said it can do more damage so it's got more potential as long as you can play it right. The easiest to play is the one that's in the middle damage wise is the, uh, the, the IS-3A. The one that's more difficult to play difficult to get a good good result on is the Mutz 933 and it takes a little bit more practice but I would say as a medium this is very very good of the two it's better even though it hasn't overall got the uh, the best DPM it, the punchiness of the gun makes up for that in my view but if you're pushing the uh, the American line go for the uh, the, the Korean pattern because that's a, a nice average amount of damage of uh, 12 to 1300 on a tier 8 so very nice but the IS IS-3A is feared, so the package to, uh, to to go for is down to you, your preference, and you can choose which one of these you want to go for. And if you can't afford the full the full ultimate package, go for these tanks, as they're very good. And then that brings in the option of the uh, the T-54 first prototype as the uh, as a medium, which at the moment is just slightly less. So. Oh, nope, it's 11, uh, 12p more. So <laughs> I've done a review on this as well. So uh, yes, you can have a look at that and uh, decide whether you want to. But the offer that I would say to, uh, to go for that's the best one is not actually the tanks. It's to get these packages with these fantastic crews. And if I didn't already have the tanks, I would be buying these packages purely, well, one, to get the tanks, but two, to get the crews. The crews themselves are fundamentally at a tier above, and they can make a huge difference to your, your future abilities with the tank and a tournament play when you buff them up to uh, to go into tier 10 tanks. And we can look at that at, uh, at a later date. So this is a quick review of, the, um, of these specials, and I'm the Gaming Bear, so see you on the next one, and see you after, after I get back with Little Miss Bear. So see you guys, have fun.